while we all all Albertans share ownership of these resources. It's clear that under the UCP, not all Albertans are enjoying the benefits. With inflation at a 40-year high, Albertans are struggling to make ends meet, and data from Alberta's social service helpline is showing just how much. The number of Albertans who have called 211 looking for help to meet their basic needs has risen by 30% in the past three years. So far this year, 5,300 requests for help have not been fulfilled, and more than half of the people making those requests live in Calgary. Alberta NDP MLA Joe Cece says Albertans deserve more, especially at a time when the province is expecting to receive a multi-billion dollar surplus driven by higher oil and gas prices. It's not a surplus if you're failing to support Albertans at a time that they need it most. And it's not a surplus when Albertans are paying more income tax, more for fees, more tuition and higher bills. And it's not a surplus if more Albertans are living in poverty and can't afford to put food on the table. Susan Gwen is the chair of the Calgary-based anti-poverty organization Poverty Talk and says the surplus is not the UCP surplus. The actual money has been cut from funding programs taken out of the communities. We are seeing the direct impacts of that and it needs to be put back. Every day we wait and we risk more people falling through the cracks. Gwen called on the government for more affordable housing and rent control and to re-index benefit programs to inflation, including AISH and income support.